Do you think it was right of the speaker to allow y'all to take a seven or six week vacation when we're 102 days out from the most critical election, I think, of you and I in everybody's lifetime, when we just had the Democrats mm -hmm. pull a coup on their presidential candidate? And oh, by the way, when the 45th president was nearly killed, his head blown off on live TV. I think y'all should have stayed at work. What do you think? Well, Dan, I take a little bit of a different approach and think that the less time we spend in Washington, the less we can meddle. I want uh, <laughs> the smaller government, not larger. And when I anyway, I don't know how the other members do it, but so many of us, we do town halls. I, I already did a, 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 a teletown hall a couple of days ago, but then we're doing a, a series of a dozen in-person town halls. We call them no holds bar town halls because these are the people that I work for. We have a fast growing district, probably 900,000. Now it was drawn for 760, so you can see that growth in four years. And I got to go out and see my folks, uh, 12 counties. That's who I vote for. Or that's who I vote for in D.C. That's who I work for in Texas. So I don't mind. Uh, I'd rather be in Texas than in D.C. But don't you think, especially on the investigation of the attempted assassination, we should be having more hearings, subpoenaing more people, and holding some mm -hmm. people's damn feet to the fire so we can get answers. Because this whole, well, the Secret Service is investigating, there's an independent investigator, and the FBI, so we've got all these investigations. Why does Congress need to do more? Why? Because we, the American people, don't trust those agencies, Pat. Sorry. We don't. You know what, Dan, Dan? Dan, neither do I. And that's why I was glad the Speaker is going to announce sometime today the 13 members on the... Uh, commission yep. to in independently and truly investigate it. And that commission work should be done immediately. For all you left-wing conspiracy theorists saying he wasn't shot or it was plastic from the teleprompters, you can clearly see in the video the teleprompters are in full working normal order. They were not hit. Mm -hmm. So I'm tired of hearing that BS as well. And I was disgusted that they're even bringing it up. But you know why they're doing that. They're trying to bring doubt because there's yes. people in their camp, and I mean radical lefties, who are claiming even that Trump staged this. Because you know, Pat, you can turn your head right at the right second just to get hit only in an inch of your ear so it doesn't blow your head off. Yeah, yeah, they can time that out. I mean, if I hear one more of those asinine conspiracy theories that Trump set this up, I'm gonna lose my stuff.